everyone, Colin Smith here from Photoshop Cafe. Welcome to part two of this video. If you haven't seen part one yet, check it out. It's uploaded there on the channel. And that's going through the basics of the 1R camera here, setting it up, on-screen controls, looking at the app, all that different stuff. Now, today we're gonna to be looking at the invisible drone, as they call it. So basically there's a cage with all the electronics in it for our 360 camera. So this is the Insta360 ONE R Aerial Edition. And basically what it does is it splits the camera. You take one camera, goes above the drone, another camera goes beneath the drone, and in this way it completely hides the drone. So you won't see the drone at all. It's a 360 camera flying through space. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Right now I'm gonna show you exactly how to set it up, and then we're gonna take it on the field and we're gonna fly it and try it out for ourselves. And the kit I have here is for the Mavic 2. So it's really quite simple to use. So to install it, the first thing we do is we unfold our drone, of course. And then we install this. So if we look at the bottom, you'll see one of these has this little bridge on there. And that bridge goes over where the camera is. And if you notice there, it just kind of snaps into position and actually locks in right there. Then we take the top. And then we're just gonna assemble that. And it just pops into position. And you'll notice it just kind of goes in there on the front legs. And it just kind of hooks in there to the front legs. Then we take the two screws and we mount it. So one of the things I like to do is I just like to mount the cage first and then we put the electronics in. And it really doesn't take that long. And the reason I do it this way is that way you can take the electronics off. And if you want to transport it, you can transport the drone with just the cage on it if you want and then keep the electronics nice and safe. Okay, so if you look at it here, let's pull it apart. There's our screen, identical to the other screen. And here is our 360 camera. It looks identical to the other one. The difference is it splits. But if you want to assemble it like normal, we can assemble it. We can even put the same battery plate on it. And now we have a 360 camera just like the other one. So we can actually just use this as a regular 360 camera. And of course, if you want, you can even put the action camera lens on there and you're good to go. So this looks pretty much the same. The difference is it splits. Also, it comes with a second battery. And this one here just kind of slots in like this. And it gives us a longer camera. It has a tripod mount on the bottom, so you could mount this and use it as a 360 camera like this or we can pull it apart and put it on the drone, which is what we're gonna do right now. This little hook has a cable that goes through it and there's just little slots there so we can pop these in. So what I like to do is just put them into position. Now we want to mount the screen. Now you might wanna pull that door off. I have already done that. And all you gotta do is just gently pull the door and it'll just lift right off. And of course you can put it back in whenever you want to, especially if you're gonna take it underwater, make sure you do that. Although I'm not sure if I would take the aerial edition underwater just because of that seam in the middle. All right, so anyway, we've got these like that. And then if you look in here, inside the cage, you'll see that on one side, we have a male, and then we just pop this end in here, make sure that the female pops in there. And now we've got the top part, all the electronics are in place now. All we need to do now is mount the cameras. Now, when you're working with the cameras, one of the things you want to do is decide which one is the up and which is down. So the way to find out is just to set it up as a camera, turn it on, look on the screen, and when the screen is pointing up, if you move it to the right and you can zoom around, then that means that the camera facing you is the one that goes on the bottom. And so what I did is I just simply took a little Sharpie 
and then just made a little dot here. Let's make a little dot on the corner. And now I know the one with the dot is the one that goes on the bottom. So all we need to do is pull these apart, find the one that does not have the dot on it, and that just slides into position and locks in. Very simple. Now for the bottom, we do the same thing. Just kind of slot that in and it locks into position. Now here's the thing. Whenever I go to put this drone down, if I'm not flying, I will take that camera out so I'm not going to damage it. If we are going to keep it on for testing or flying, then there's guards available. So I got one of these guards and I'm just going to carefully put that down on it. So then it just sits on that lens guard and that protects that lens from touching any surfaces. You always want to protect those lenses at all times. And then from then on, all we need to do is we just turn it on like normal and we control this through the screen, set everything up, get it ready to go, and off we go. And we're ready to fly. So there we go. We've got the Insta360 1R. We've got our twin edition, which is what we unboxed here, which comes with both of these cameras. Comes with the action camera, the 4K action camera, and the 360, which goes up to 5.7K, by the way, so it's really high resolution. And you might ask, well, why do you need 5.7K for reframe? So a lot of the way I like to use this is not so much in 360 mode as you can capture the entire 360 environment. And then afterwards, you can reframe it like a normal camera. The cool thing about that is like having a camera operator. So you can zoom around in post. So you can do it either through the desktop app. Um, there's also a plugin from Premiere Pro, or you can do it through your phone. And you can literally reframe it afterwards so you can recompose that shot. Now, I went through that quite in depth when I did the review on the Insta360 ONE X. And I'll, I'll give you guys a link to there so you can kind of see that app um, where I actually really do a tutorial on that app. So that enables you to get those shots afterwards and you can do all kinds of cool things with it. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take this out in location and try it out. And I'm going to shoot this entire video using the Insta360 ONE R. So all the B-roll and all the stuff from the ground is going to be shot on this camera. We're going to use it with the action camera and I'm also going to put the 360 lens on it. So we're going to use both the lenses for this. And then of course, we're also going to get some stuff from the drone. Now, before I do, just want a quick disclaimer about the drone footage. It's going to be a little shaky. It's not going to be great at this point because I have actually a advanced version of this, um, which is a prototype. And there's obviously some more work needs to be done, firmware and all that kind of stuff has to be done. And later on, if you guys are interested, let me know and I'll upload some updated footage once all that gets perfected. So let's head out. Let's go.
All right, so as you can see from there, you know, that little clip, there's a variety of different shots we can get. All of that was shot just using this camera. So um, as you can see, I didn't have a second camera person. I was either carrying this on the invisible selfie stick or I was mounting it just on the selfie stick on a, on a foot, just using a tripod. So anyway, I think this is really intelligent tech, being able to do all of this from a single camera. Now, also there's a one inch edition available for the action camera, which is just coming out. And this was created in uh, collaboration with Leica. Now, if you guys are interested in seeing a review or some samples from that one inch, let me know. I don't have one yet. I should be getting one pretty soon. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, drop a comment. Let me know what you think about all of this. Is this the way of the future? Is this uh, seem like something maybe you might want to use? Let me know in the comments underneath. So anyway, if you like these kind of informational reviews and also you like tutorials, hit the subscribe button right now. Become part of the Cafe crew. Also join the notification squad. Turn on those notifications so you know when I upload a new video, which is every single week. Anyway, if you like this, smash the like button into dust. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.